Turns out Miley Cyrus can buy herself a lot more than just flowers. At the end of 2022, it was reported that the singer snagged a stunning new home in Malibu, California, an area we know she loves and where she also once lived with her ex. This time, this mansion is all Miley's own and comes with over 6,500 square feet of space, as well as a 1.5 acre lot and amazing views of the ocean. Last summer, Miley also sold her sprawling estate in Nashville for a whopping $14.5 million. And in 2021, she let go of her home in Hidden Hills that she and her mom uniquely redesigned and showed off to Architectural Digest that same year. Videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. At the end of 2022, Miley Cyrus decided to move back to her beloved area of Malibu, California, the spot that she loves so much that she wrote a song about a few years ago. She also formerly lived in Malibu with ex husband Liam Hemsworth for many years, in fact. While the singer is back where she belongs with the purchase of a $7.9 million mansion overlooking the ocean, stunning home was built in 1999 but was freshly fixed up in recent years and sits on a large lot spanning nearly 1.5 acres of land. Furthermore, it's located in a gated community up in the hills of Malibu and past a long driveway, so privacy is definitely not something Miley needs to worry about here. Inside, the bright and open plan abode boasts 6,568 square feet of space as well as six bedrooms and 6.5 bathrooms. Her house is built in a California classic Mediterranean villa style and contemporary bonuses have been added including recessed LED lights while well, there are also large windows throughout. The entryway has double height ceilings while the staircase provides wrought iron railings and a massive picture window and this foyer space leads into the three main entertaining rooms encompassing the living room, formal dining room and a games room. The living room offers the same all white walls as most of the mansion does as well as a fireplace and glass sliders to outside. There's there's another smaller living area too next to the dining room which also has a fireplace while the games or billiards room features a pool table. Miley's new kitchen comes fully equipped with plenty of space, upscale stainless steel appliances and granite counters. There's also a couple of bar stool style seats and a butler's pantry with room for storage while the kitchen opens up to the bigger of the two living areas. The master suite which is located upstairs also offers a very white color scheme and features like a fireplace, sitting area, and a wall of glass that opens up to a sprawling private terrace with panoramic ocean views. Miley will also have an ensuite with built-in tub, glass shower, and more. The guest bedrooms all have their own private bathrooms, and since there are so many extra rooms, you could even turn one into a fitness room or an office. There are a handful of glass sliders throughout this beachy house that opens to the grounds and patios of the home where you'll find some more five-star amenities. Not only is the main concrete patio perfect to entertain or suntan, but it also surrounds a heated swimming pool with attached spa. The property also boasts grassy lawns, pretty gardens, as well as a perfect location. Secluded, yet close to the best shopping and dining spots in Malibu. In her new neighborhood, Miley also has some famous Malibu neighbors, including the likes of Lady Gaga and Avril Lavigne. Considering Miley and her mom Tish gave her former Hidden Hills home a funky makeover, it's likely only a matter of time until they freshen up this space too. But let's look at that place next. In 2021, Miley had already sold a home in the Hidden Hills area of Los Angeles that she only lived at for about a year, during which time she and her mom Tish Cyrus redecorated the interiors to give the place a unique and fresh vibe. Miley offloaded the home for $7.2 million, scoring quite the profit considering she purchased it for $4.95 million in 2020. At the time, the home was updated in contemporary and offered over an acre of land. The exterior boasted pristine landscaping, a large motor court, and a facade covered in big bay windows. Miley and Tish, who is a passionate interior designer along with the help of Matt Sanders, were able to take the interiors of the 6,394 square foot home and redecorate it to suit Miley's personality. What was formerly an all white, lavish looking home became a cool, colorful, rock star style retreat with a magical feel throughout. This crib offers six beds and 6.5 baths 
as well as huge arched windows throughout, high ceilings, and French oak floorboards. Past the entryway, there are formal living and dining rooms, the latter of which boasts a vaulted ceiling and French doors out to a terrace with views of the surrounding neighborhood. <laughs> There's also a full bar nearby with glass backdrop and attached wine fridge. After the Miley Tish makeover, the funky home showcased a powder room with Gucci Tiger wallpaper and a charcoal colored living room with black marble fireplace and colorful accent chair. Other renovated spaces included a psychedelic themed music studio, a glam room with leopard wallpaper, and much more. The gourmet Skylit kitchen was already stylish and modern when Miley bought the place and is still packed with designer stainless steel appliances like Sub Zero and Wolf brand. Elsewhere in the home, you'll find a state of the art home theater with a 135 inch screen and plush recliners and a handful of bedrooms, including two master suites. One of these was located on the main floor, while the upstairs master bedroom was much larger, offering a fireplace, walk-in closet, spa-style ensuite, bath, and private balcony. Out in the backyard, there's a concrete patio that Miley and Tish wanted to recreate into a space that looks like a chic hotel, staining the pavement dark as well as turning the fire pits and lounge chairs black. This is located beside the yard's lagoon-style swimming pool and spa, and back here, there's also an open-air pavilion with outdoor kitchen. In 2022, Miley sold her gorgeous farmhouse in her home state of Tennessee for a whopping $14.5 million. The singer and Nashville native purchased the 33-acre estate back in 2017 for $5.8 million, meaning she made a 150% profit in only a handful of years. This stunning and charming mansion was located in Miley's hometown of Franklin, which is just outside of Nashville and boasted 6,689 square feet of living space, along with five beds and 4.5 baths. This updated farmhouse had plenty of intriguing features that made the place even more welcoming. Like, look at that amazing wraparound porch. The home also had a lot of stacked stone, wood beam ceilings, and exposed brick. In the main home, there was a huge kitchen and dining room that merged to create a large common area, offering high vaulted ceilings, a large island with bar seating, and secondary sitting area and fireplace. Next to this, there's a great room with even higher double height ceilings, a large large stone fireplace, windows letting in a ton of lights, and a massive iron chandelier. Other features of Miley's former farm estate included a spacious indoor-outdoor room with a TV, a wet bar, and even an elevator elsewhere in the home. Outside, aside from the large patio spaces for entertaining, there's a stone-trimmed pool with diving board as well as a spa and another barn-style structure on the property. Now that we've seen Miley Cyrus's current and new mansion in Malibu, which she recently treated herself to, as well as a couple of her homes that she sold, I think that'll bring this house tour to a close. Let me know what you thought about the singer's homes from Nashville to Los Angeles. And before you go, answer this question for me. If you had multi-millions to spend on properties, would you prefer to make your main residence a mansion on the shores of Malibu or somewhere more private, like a luxury farmhouse on 33 acres in Tennessee? Let me know what you would choose in the comments down below. For me, I think I would choose the farmhouse vibe. That property was so stunning and Nashville's a great place. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another house tour. Bye.